Hi, this is Mark with ValueCharts.com. Last week we talked about the euro currency putting in a f pattern we call the yellow hat doji. Recall that a doji is a price pattern, it's a candlestick price pattern where the opening and closing tick of a price bar are relatively close to each other and then the yellow hat comes in when we use the value bars as well or value charts and see the bar trade up into moderately overvalued as well. So combining those two together, we get the yellow hat doji. We talked about a good possibility last week of this being a bearish type formation on a weekly basis. Now, to trade this, we talked about selling the open of this week, which is right at a price level of 131.69, and then using the high of last week of 133.08 to call it as our stop. Now, I still think we're very much on track for this, even though we haven't seen the sell-off that we're potentially looking for. If we drill down into daily price bars, the one thing that uh, suggests to me, at least, that we could still very much be on track is this pattern we're seeing in the cycle finder. It's kind of a flattening pattern where we should be seeing an upward swing in prices. So it's, the, it's kind of the bull market's turn or the buyer's turn to push prices higher. And we're really just seeing kind of a flattening action here. And this oftentimes suggests that we could see lower prices. The thing to really watch out for here, in my opinion, is the break of the low of last week, which, was, or which actually is right around the price level of 131.43, about 80 pips lower than where we are currently. If we see a break of that, then I'd say we're very much in a good position potentially to take advantage of a potential sell-off. Now, all of that is, again, potential until we actually do see the market heading lower. This morning, we actually saw this market head up into significantly overvalued or moderately overvalued prices, however you want to look at it, on a 60-minute basis and on a 120-minute basis and 30-minute basis as well. These types of opportunities, in my mind, are, are oftentimes very good shorting opportunities. I actually sold uh, several futures contracts this morning when it, the prices were about, uh, call it, maybe 18 pips higher than where they are right now, taking advantage of this overbought nature in this market, and then prices quickly sold off after that. And so I was able to take advantage of that price move. I now have a break-even stop in, and if we get a continuation of the downside, I'll, I'll be in very good shape there. That's all we have for this video. We're still, in my mind, right on track with this market, but it's going to be important that we start to see prices sell off probably tomorrow and Friday and uh, potentially even break the low of last week or at least come close to it in order for our projections here to be correct. But I still feel good about the trade, and in this case, I didn't sell in the open of the week. I did sell at uh, when the prices became significantly overvalued again, basis the value bars on a 60-minute basis, and so now I'm in fairly good uh, position here to take advantage of an impending sell-off if that does indeed take place. Have a great holiday week. We will be back to track this market uh, more over the next couple of days. Thanks for watching.